Hello everyone, welcome to Fijian Investment Trader, known as Fijian Traders, this is Mr. Singh. Rivian Automotive, ticker symbol R-I-V-A-N, the EV maker. Well folks, Rivian, uh, the five day chart was fabulous, what a week, what a week, we closed on Friday, $10.07, even on Friday today, uh, that the video, uh, we went all the way $10.41 and we got rejected. But we did close, making another high highs and higher lows, uh, closing at $10.07, even the aftermarket is sitting at $10.05. What a week. What a week. Absolutely. I'm excited and pumped. And there's a lot of news came uh, in terms for Rivian. And that was some fabulous, mind-blowing, delicious, whatever you want to call it, and some exciting news. Well, on, also on the technical side, I want to talk to you about some key things coming up that we need to be prepare ourselves as well. Well, let's talk on the fundamentals. Um, what was one of the couple, a lot of news came out and I'm going to share on this video. So don't go anywhere yet. So Rivian hires a new chief uh, operating officer. Uh, the stock continues steady on the green, uh, bringing an e electric EV company. The five day run returned about 9%. What a run, as I just earlier just mentioned. Uh, as... On the video, uh, it was announced. Uh, sorry, during the video, uh, it was uh, it was announced. Uh, the Rivian was announced on Friday. Javier Varela as a new operating officer, the COO, and Varela will ref uh, will re replace Frank Kellen, who was hired back in June 2022. Valera has spent the last eight years of Volvo and recently saving as a CEO and a deputy CEO for Volvo uh, G uh, for the Volvo CEO Jim Halvan was elected as a deputy as a part of the companies became an all electric EV brand by 2030. Valera declares an automotive experience and began his career in 1990 um, and so forth. So getting a somebody an experience on automotive that is a great news because they are, you know, uh, bringing who knows the business, right? Uh, in terms of how on the EV as well, uh, also on the automotive side and how you can combine it together to be more profitable, um, to be profitable for Rivian down to the road. And that's a great news. So let's see what's um, Larry going to bring uh, and what what's the leadership style, the experience will help to keep succeeding and keep growing for Rivian. So one of the great news, uh, and I'm excited. Well, another great news, so Rivian Automotive receives a 287 million incentive package. What's going on with Rivian stock, which was on Friday and Thursday. So um, this is one of the best news I have so had so far for Rivian, because it's announced a receipt of 827 million incentive package from state of Illinois Department of commerce and economic opportunity. Rivia has received 827 million incentive package from the state of Linear Department, which that can allow the company to expand operation its plant in Indiana. And the company uh, said the funds from the incentive package will go towards the expansion of the plant, improvement in public infrastructure, and job training programs for Rivian workforce. We are grateful. For the investment for the state of Illinois and the leadership of governor and this is fabulous folks for this is one of the things that will drive Rivian to be a big time competitor as well as Tesla not comparing Tesla Tesla is a dinosaur and alpha but Rivian is making its way as well so getting this grant will have the stability in the company can create profitability in the company and has a future enhancement, future vision for the company to keep growing because of this massive uh, funding uh, that they just got received from the government. La, always the just just be careful because every time you receive a funding from the government, there's something is attached behind it. So I'm sure there's something which they're gonna disclose it. Well, also has agreed to retain minimum of six, just retain minimum of six thousand for existing full-time jobs in Illinois. So job opportunities created in Illinois as well. So that is great to see that. I love to hear people getting more jobs, jobs available, gives them an option as well. So also wanted to share, you know, what is the meaning of just having the 820 and how the job 
a uh, job uh, is getting available as well too so great to great to see that uh rivian's next gen plans gets the boost rivian said in march will save up to 2.5 billion in capital expenditure the, the reason i'm going kind of go in this article because they need to control their costs right uh and investment on that and that is once they have now they have received the 820 uh 27 million in grant uh will help to expand the existing plan up to capacity from 150,000 to 215 units which worth of 1.5 billion the company is will spend on the next plan so production level goes up rivian has produced more than 10,000 electric vehicles at the facility since it began and it doesn't expect to increase the volume in 2024 compared to 57 in manufacturing for last year and this was partially the, uh, some of the downtime uh, downtime it will take the expansion of that so we do going to see that little bit as uh, a, a small production but we know the production is going to be coming and once the production starts at that high level oh my god this stock is going to be roofing over 50 to 60 bucks at any moment time so great opportunity because once you have the backup of a that amount of money this company is not going anywhere folks it's going to be here for a long time so you know a lot of money a lot of investment has been put into it to be make this Rivian as a successful especially over there so uh, also kind of on this article at the bottom I did mention uh, just mentioned as the 827 million but also on 15 out of 28 broker rate the stock from buy or higher 11 has hold and only two for sell so a lot of buying option and the price target it is $17 definitely hate to see that but $17 the stock has been down on negative 59.6 percent we have been down a lot so what are the key things we're looking at it folks this is a six month chart i keep things real when i do investment on that and i will share with you guys what do i mean by i keep things real well before i go on the technical side sorry i forgot to show my portfolio as well still here not going and i did order my share is when i bought the shares i did mention folks i'm loading it do get the comments like hey it's too early too late but I did borrow the shares and now I am up 12.38, 39%. Um, so great, great return right here. My target still says the $60. So let's see where we got. Need some cushion, cushion and breathing room. So that way I can leave this stock for a while. As well as I'm invested in Tesla as well. You can clearly see that I'm invested on the Tesla, Plug Power, and Palantir, Neo. My portfolio is very device. But this is all about Rivian. Uh, Rivian was one of the, my... Uh, lately has been keeping eye on this stock and was waiting for the right price to jump in excited to jump in and wanted to share with you guys so i keep things real what does it mean by that when is oh, i talk about good bad the sad the great well i'm looking at this stock right now you can clearly see that we are in downtrend pattern what did it happen when you have this crossover i'm going all the way back to in december i remember when we had i was day trading this stock and when we had this crossover from 18 dollars right here which is the 200 day moving we have we were at the downtrend downtrend for a while let me fix my chart for you guys folks and when we had this downtrend all the way to 23 we came back to the low round of 15 dollars and when we're making kind of start, start trading sideways we had this breakout the 60 day moving average was top the blue line was my two uh, sorry my 200 day moving average is the pink and the blue line is my 60 day Anytime you have the pink one on top means it is coming down and we did but when we had this crossover right in the beginning of December and we went all the way high of $24 and 65 cents and we traded sideways for a while couldn't hold it when the negative news came in and we pulled back and then we had a crossover at $19 and 70 80 uh, close to $20 we had a crossover and we never looked back and making lower highs. And every time we came close to the 60-day moving average, as uh, so rather 200-day moving average, the pink line, we got rejected, rejected, came close. Now, we are close the gap. And it is sitting at $10.35. So, what does it mean? We got to break the $10.35. If we don't break the $35, uh, $35, uh, $10.35 level, means our support level lies right over here this moving average and i did mention in my previous video i like the momentum but i want to see if how holds and that's sitting at nine dollars and thirty cents so nine dollars thirty cents it is going to be the support level right here so nine dollars and thirty cents because the 60 day moving average is the blue line is sitting at nine dollars and thirty so shifting the gear to the three months love to see how we're doing on the three months 
for three months. Um, let me fix it back again for you guys. Three months. Okay, so this is our my three month chart, folks. So clearly, the pink line, 208 moving average, right? Broke, couldn't break it. We are trading above, so that's why we should be very excited about it. So we are trading above those moving average, and the blue line is sitting at nine dollars and thirty-seven cents, which is a sixty-day, and the two hundred day sitting at nine fifty-four. We have about to have this crossover. We need this crossover. Once this crossover happens, we'll determine a confirmation for the uptrend, and it's closing that gap. You can clearly see that house is closing that gap, and now we're making some higher highs and higher lows, uh, and. The momentum is there, but we need more momentum. Means a lot of buying have happened all the way to the loading zone of eight dollars and eighty cents with the highs of that uh, order flow. Uh, definitely, people a lot of sell off happened, but we did close, made a lot of recovery today, and that was exciting to see. Um, shifting the gear to the one month, um, that is something that I wanted to share with you guys as well. Beautiful breakover. We broke this. You can clearly see that I was acting as a uh, resistance level and we broke through and now we're making higher highs. So what's left for us is the 60 day. So the 60 day, that is the nasty one we're going to break and hold and we're going to trade on top of this moving average. We start trading up in between these two levels right here. That is your confirmation for the uptrend coming in and which is great news to see that. Um, year to date, um, as I've shown with you guys on that, clearly uh, and the next level, you're looking at it, $11 and uh, 34 cents. So what I'm going to do is on the six months, I uh, love to draw my technical analysis in terms of that, but it's a clear cut picture. What needs to be break history do repeats itself. You can see how do we got rejected. And now we came to this very close, a very thin line. So I'm sure investors are keeping an eye on the stock right as well. So folks, thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I really appreciate it. Uh, this is my second video on Rivian and doing it actually and I see a lot of support level a lot of comments down below I'm here for long run. I'm not here. I do believe this company is a $60 stock I w I'm hoping it goes right over $12 and $13 so I can breathe and just keep loading my shares That is my plan. My plan is to add more shares on that I'm not taking the profitability I write here because I'm here for the long term and that is my purpose I'm gonna share with you guys I'm always gonna share the good the bad the sad the great keep things real with you Gonna keep things real with you, and I wanna tell you if I see a downtrend coming in, I mean, you did you decide what you're gonna do with your stock. I'm not a final advisor. This is I'm telling what I'm doing it and what is my plan on doing it. I am just sharing it. You can call me out if I was wrong and right. Please do that. Please absolutely do that. So thank you for watching it. I hope uh, this video helps you. But we gotta break ten dollars and thirty-five cents. That is the nasty ones coming up. So thank you.